What's up guys, welcome back to uh, another beautiful day here in Texas. Uh, the wife and I are gonna go to the park and then I'm gonna give y'all a review of the 2016, oh no, the 19 Dodge Charger SE because I'm using it as a rental car right now. So uh, we'll just get y'all a nice little cold start here and then we'll be good to go. Just get back to the back of the car here. This is hard. Controller. All right, guys. She's nice and dirty for y'all. So there it is she's nothing special she's just a little v6 kind of bs rental car um so as y'all can see it's a rental car but uh we're gonna go ahead and put the stroller in here as i backlight y'all sorry really bad at this little camera angle thing uh so yeah we'll try to finagle this in here like this right on top of that the security gear yeah because i work security and have all that licensing and stuff but uh anyways guys let's get on with the rest of the video so do y'all ever have an issue where you have a cat crawl on your windshield i don't know if y'all can see that or not but there's a cat paw print so i mean i get it it's not my car but i'm not a big fan of it treasure needs to put her seatbelt on you know not that driver seatbelt warning but uh Anyways, guys, yeah, comment below if you've ever had a cat crawl in your car and you want to find that cat and just murder it. Just kidding. Don't murder cats. Animal cruelty is not cool. All right, guys, so we're going to start this review of the 2019 Dodge Charger. Uh, this will probably be the extent that you see my face. Uh, we're going to just get into the car here. So this is the uh, base model, the SE model. Um, I have a police car, so I'll probably end up doing a review on that in the near future. But right now I'm just uh, reviewing the SE because that's what I have and it's a 2019, mine's a 2014. So I've been daily driving this for the last two and a half, three weeks. Uh, as my car's in the shop because I was in a really bad accident in it and so um, we're getting that repaired as a family car I love the Dodge Charger um, specifically the V8s because you still have got the powerful V8 engine and you can drive your family around <laughs> but um, this uh, this is the I think this is a 3.6 liter V6 and it has about as much power as the uh um as a nissan maxima and it has these aluminum rims uh they're just a standard rim luckily they're not hubcaps because i'm not a big fan of hubcaps i didn't realize that i was going to be uh, backlit here I guess I should have known that because of the direction of the sun, but I'm trying to get as much, push the car in the sun, but I'm kind of step on the inside here and show you all the inside. Um, again, backlit, backlit by the sun. So this is the interior. Um, 
just a standard charger interior I want to get these stickers for my car because I don't like it when people smoke or vape in my car um, let's get the uh, the wheel turned a little bit So this is the gauge cluster, um, just a standard gauge cluster here in the middle, we'll have charger once it turns on and then it'll give you all your display stuff here, it'll give you your, give you your speed and everything else you need. Let me just turn it over real quick. So there's your speed. Then. This car needs washer fluid, and I just don't have uh, have any. I mean, I do. It's just for my car, and I don't want to waste it on this car, honestly. <laughs> um, you'll go through. You got your tire pressure, miles per gallon. I get twenty one point six, which is not my best. I've kind of been driving like an asshole, so I at best I had twenty four miles per gallon, and I drive city highway, so it's kind of a mix of both. Um, trip info typical typical everything you get with a a car in the gauge cluster um, messages screen set up and then it goes back to the speedometer over here on the uh, display we'll turn that up a little bit hold on figure out which one of these buttons turns it up shut the door and see if uh, that helps out a little bit so right here it's not really helping out at all let me see if I can get into the settings here and turn up the display for y'all um, I can't even see what all it says this is display brightness there we go turn it up to 10 maybe that'll help y'all out a little bit it was terrible lighting right here. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing well with the putting the sun on it. Hey, let me move around a little bit. Move this way with it. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all can see that a little better now. There's not as much uh, sun glare. So we'll get back into the. So you've got your radio typical am fm xm um there's my ugly face uh you can hold your presets uh you can browse you've got your tune button here that just help lets you punch in the station and then you've got your audio adjust right here you can adjust the balance and fade the equalizer speed audio adjust loudness auto display and then you've got your phone set up you've got a USB 1 USB 2 Bluetooth and auxiliary um, let me just put it on the Bluetooth real quick um, so this is basically what it looks like when you have your phone connected it gives you your music voice from the south and then it'll even if you're playing youtube videos it'll even show up on here um then you can put it on repeat repeat song repeat all and then shuffle turn it on and off i always have it on you can hit your info for more info of the song and then obviously you've got your bluetooth right here and you can set which phone you want that's my wife's phone that's my phone um, go through paired phones add a device you just hit that pin and it adds it um, you've got your audio right there sorry I'm trying to trying to lean on stuff to get y'all closer it's just not working um, and then you've got your climate control which I have turned off you can turn it on via the screen um, this is how I've got it set up right now my wife's got it set up on freaking middle because she's always cold 
it's a nice little 66 degrees outside right now in the middle of January in Texas it's 4 p.m. and then you can just turn that off we were ro rolling with the uh, the sunroof which I'll show you all in a little bit uh, you can go through your apps got your audio settings compass I think the compass is cool honestly I just wish it had a complete map your phone come back down here got your settings climate media radio all that we've already gone over your phone we've gone over you can hit redial do not disturb I haven't really used it yet I don't play with it too much um, if this was my personal car I'd probably mess with it a little bit more because I'd have more use for it uh, you can go through your phone book again I don't have my I don't have my uh, phone connected but I think these are built into the car as like an OnStar feature um, I don't know that this car gets OnStar um, you can even dial numbers that's cool um, you have your settings for your phones and then obviously here's the compass again you can get to it from that main thing right there and then we're back over to the settings um, you can do your language settings English Spanish and French French <laughs> um, you got your display settings display mode auto or manual display brightness headlights on I've got it at three with the headlights off I usually put it down to one um, because when I work security I don't need all that light in the interior of the car so I just don't um, mess with that and then you've got your touchscreen beep where it just makes noise I don't know if y'all can hear that uh, it just makes noise when you press stuff it's kind of annoying I turn it off um, and I think that's it for this one yeah it's four items in the list uh, we just did display we'll do units so units it says US metric or custom I don't know what's in the custom I haven't played with these yet until just now okay so it's got your uh, speed in miles per hour and miles or you can switch it over to kilometers kilometers or kilometers per hour and then kilometers for distance uh, fuel con consumption is mpg mpg uk liters uh, kilometers per liter i guess is that one um you got your pressure in psi or kpa or bar temperature is celsius or fahrenheit um, you can kind of set this up for whoever you are wherever you are <laughs> you've got your voice voice response length is detailed show command list you can put it on never with help or always then voice response you can also put it on brief I forgot to touch on that um oh that's another thing too is you can scroll this which I've never seen before on a touch screen it's usually you have to press the arrow but you can just scroll it which I think is cool um you've got your clock settings here it says sync with GPS time, time format 20 or 12 and 24 hours. If it was my car, I'd put it on 24 hours, um, but it's not. Safety, driving assistance. Uh, can I click on it? There we go. It gives you the park sense. It's sound, sound and display. Uh, rear park sense volume, low, medium or high. I think it was on medium when I got the car, but. I do not like um, like the sound it's rather annoying so I put it on low electric power steering normal sport comfort oh wow I didn't know you could adjust that <laughs> that's awesome um, as you can tell I drive a police car so it's very bare bones bare minimum you don't get all these fancy settings park view backup camera delay I have it turned off but the, these are all preset settings I haven't touched them the only thing I do is I turn off the daylight runners because well because I don't really care for them and when you're driving a charger if it's a solid color if it's white or um, white black or gray or silver uh, you can uh, 
turn it off and it makes you look more like a police car <laughs> kind of helps with uh you know the way people drive around you and um helps police officers not look at you as suspiciously in my opinion um but that's <laughs> that's a video for a different day uh hill start assist and that'll be it for the settings so you've got all that and then down here you've got your volume you've got mute you've got your hazards screen off so all that does is just turn the screen on and off no big deal you've got your tuner right here um and then it literally just adjusts your uh you can use this to work on the touch screen so then you've got your parking park sense is off so that's how you turn your park sense off <laughs> you've got your traction control uh you've got your front defrost rear defrost you've got your um hot and cold settings for both both sides of the car you've got your adjustment dial you can turn it off you got your ac here and then you've got your recirculation here uh down here um you have your little car plug which i've got two phone chargers plugged in because my wife has her phone in here then down here's a little cubby where you can just store your phone and everything um and then here's another little uh like coin tray thing it's kind of dirty right now but again like i said it's a rental car so it's kind of dirty right now it's not an excuse not to take care of it but i do plan on cleaning up before i take it back to the dealer or back to the uh, rental car place because i've always been taught you should return things better or the same as you found them um so you've got your two cup holders here and then a little phone slit or it could be for anything but my phone has a giant ass case so it doesn't fit there um and also let's put this up out of the way it has a little little thing right there if you're you don't allow people to drink in your car or whatever you can kind of close it up and be like hey don't drink at the car got your center console here has a removable coin tray or whatever you just put it on there and it kind of like slides back and forth um then you've got another car plug here and then you've got your auxiliary one or auxiliary and usb one and usb two kind of got a kind of separation down there um so the base model does come with cloth seats they do kind of have like the i want to say maybe a racing or aggressive style seat because it kind of hugs you while you're sitting in it um and then so on the steering wheel here you've got um your arrows to adjust your screen up here then you've got your um cruise control settings these buttons don't exist in this car or even in the hellcat which i thought was weird i figured buying the buying a bigger model you'd have buttons here but it's just a waste of space right here you've got your phone uh answer uh voice command thing and then your hang up phone and then over here in the door you just have your typical adjustments left right mirror adjustment uh your front two are auto and your rear are just manual got your window lock you've got your door unlock and lock so a little funny story that i found uh, i don't know if this is still true but the maserati uses these same clusters it'll i'm i'm pretty sure it'll fit in the door as well but the only difference is is they have little chrome little pieces here and that's one thing i did notice <laughs> from my charger and the maserati when i was looking at possibly renting one or getting one um one of the earlier models that aren't that expensive anymore um but yeah that's just something that i thought was weird i always store my wallet here in the door um i don't know if that's really a 
like a security risk thing but i always put it there just in case like you get pulled over or whatever your wallet's right here and you're not digging in your pocket and it looks like you're trying to reach for a weapon it's right there you just pull everything out and you're good to go um you've got on the little side here you've got the little scrolls for the gauge cluster and everything you've got your little mood lighting here uh which i may have to show you all when the sun goes down um but i always keep those one click up from off and you've got your trunk open right here and then you've got your um light light dimmer you have it on auto off the running lights and then fog lights which this model car does not come with fog lights um you got your standard vents standard vent control um for all chargers i think that's looks pretty standard for all chargers that i've seen um let's go sit in the passenger side and we'll go give you all a passenger side view again walking around the car uh, look at the car it is dirty i do apologize for that so sit in the car here as a passenger this is what you look at <laughs> this is what it looks like you know nothing nothing too serious you got your floor here uh you've got the charger logo here um it's got the airbags and the company that does the airbags i guess i guess that's what srs is i don't really look into the safety features of cars and then you've got a standard vent here she's got hers closed i like to keep them open because if you have them closed your little defrost thing all the ambient air will come out here and fog up the glass which i do not like at all oh yeah by the way there's the mirrors <laughs> guess i probably could have showed you all that on the uh, driver's side uh so you've got a lock here which i'm pretty sure it just works with the standard key that comes with the car and then you open it like this so with a rental car you don't have anything in here not even the manual or anything um just your light your latch a little bumper and then all your other car documents to go in here it's nice felt lined it's looks like it's very thought out i mean it feels weird to say that about a cheap car but it's it feels very thought out um so there's a bumper there and a bumper there so here in the door we've got her a um sim card for her her youtube channel which is Doan Family Shenanigans. Um, and then two hair ties. <laughs> um, then you've got one adjustment here for the passenger side. And I can't compare it to a Maserati because I haven't looked for this side yet. Um, but I'm assuming it's the same thing. Uh, you've got your little document holder here and cup holder, which is the same on both. The driver and passenger side i'm sorry i forgot to mention that before so you've got a little stainless looking plastic door handle here i kind of like the reverse door handles like this um i think they just look nicer um and then you've got chrome locks you know it's kind of not that big a deal to talk about but some people like to like to know about that sort of thing um this is a nylon material it's nothing nothing fancy um as you get up in the chargers uh, this will become like a faux leather and then your standard seat though just goes up and down kind of just talking about random things about the car um so we'll go to the back side passenger back side So passenger back seat. Um, right now I've kind of just got this covering the baby toy. Um, but this is my gym bag that I take to work with me every day because I go to the gym at lunch. Um, got the car seat back here. Got the baby's boots. It's a very family friendly car. This one has vents in the back. When I do a review of my charger, you'll see the difference. So why they went with full leather here, I don't I can only assume that it's because um, it lasts longer than felt. It's got little plastic backing. All right, guys, so back where we left off. So I can only imagine that this is leather because 
it lasts longer than the felt material or not felt but uh fabric material uh it's got a plastic seat backing kickback it just has standard uh back seats it doesn't really hug you like like the front seats do it has a little cup holder that falls down back here um really it back here there's nothing else special so you've got your child anchors as as a family car you want to know where these are so they're back here in the back and oh and these ones actually stay up they're not spring loaded like my charger my charger is a police car and they still have these that's amazing right and so these just kind of stay up like that or you can close them down on top of the uh, belt it's not a big deal so we have ours wrapped around like this um i know uh, the way it's designed is to be up like that. So, here's that. We've got the baby car seat in here. To prove that it's family, family friendly. Again, you've got the full leather on the back seat here, plastic. We've got the baby's food. That's a pacifier that she found. Uh, she doesn't even use them anymore, but she found it and she was sucking on it. <laughs> um... Got the baby's lion, just standard foot wells, nothing too fancy. Um, it's kind of is out of so on both sides of the car, you have the cup holder here and a little document holder here. You got one adjustment for the window, your little handle here, your open handle, nothing too fancy. We're gonna get into the trunk here. Um, so as far as the trunk goes, let me put the diaper wipes back in the diaper bag because Treasure came over here and had to clean up the baby a little bit. So as for the trunk goes, she tried to wipe it off with a baby wipe, as you can see. Um, it's kind of dirty right now. I do apologize. I haven't had a chance to clean it up and with it being a rental, I'm not going to clean it until I give it back. So I'll take it through like a touchless wash. Um, but this is uh, what the rear end of the car looks like. You've got your sensors right there. Um, there's four of them along the back side here. Um, you've got your exhaust pipes. I'm not sure if it's got the dual heads in it, but I'm pretty sure it's only one exhaust pipe. So with this charger model, which is different from mine, you can unlock it with the key right there or you can press this little button right here and it'll open up for you so right now kind of just to show you what we got in here we got the little baby uh baby stroller there we go this is the uh, jogger stroller so it's got a little the three wheels and everything uh, you've got a little cubby there a little cubby there where I have my work vest and then I've got my rifle in the trunk just in case um, the trunk is very big um, so this material right here um, I like it because I can put patches on it and so I collect patches like velcro patches and such you've got your little pull handle here and then just in case you get locked in the trunk you can pull on the little latch thing doesn't look like the thing is latched so it's not gonna work but just pull on that and you're good to go it has a little dodge across the back like that which I like backup camera I can really do without it it's not that big a deal to me um, so we'll walk around to the front of the car and give you a rundown of the front let you look under the hood and everything um so with the base model and police cars you'll find these um the little cross that dodge has come to know um i don't know uh i don't know if you can get an rt in that model but there's that uh then you've got your daytime running lights which i think are the coolest look on the charger um and so it's really nothing serious to go on there so 
right now they're rocking these Michelin energy saver tires and they actually grip pretty well all right so back to the headlights here so as y'all can see right there it says dodge in the headlight which i don't think is necessary but you know they're following suit with all the other major manufacturers um again so one thing i do like about the chargers now is they come with these uh these little freaking gas holes i guess you would call them um i thought they were just on the police models but now that i rented a civilian model it's got this cool little i prefer this over a gas cap so that's just my personal preference um let me know what y'all think down below anyways guys we're gonna get in we're gonna head out and i will do a uh driving video for all right guys so for the uh driving portion of the video i uh dropped the wife and baby off at the house we're gonna go do hopefully a little drive for about five ten minutes um we'll do like a little zero to 60 we'll do kind of a maneuver there's a little windy road behind uh where i live there's an amber alert hmm, imagine that it's for austin texas a black mazda tribute 2005 black mazda tribute if anyone uh anyone's out there looking for it um yeah I know, uh, I know they think we're just going to all jump on it, right? <laughs> but uh, anyways, we're going to get into to this drive. We're going to do a 0-60, to 60, probably right at the gate, because i got to go get out onto the highway and then kind of get to the back roads. Um, so we'll kind of go from there. Um, I don't think I'm going to show my face during this uh, drive. I think I'm just going to show you all the gauge cluster and the steering wheel and maybe the outside as we're driving. Um, we'll kind of just get into it from here. Um, we're gonna put it into reverse, not drive. We're gonna get out of here. Um, again, if you do use a backup camera, oh, that's what it looks like, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to <clears throat> show you all that. Oh, also, real quick. Um, so these, I believe, are the mics for um, the phone. Also, you've got your auto open here for the sunroof. We'll kind of get into that freaking lights and sunglass holder rear view mirror that sort of thing all right we're gonna open the open this it obviously opens with the uh with the um the little cover and then when you close it it'll leave the cover back i personally don't care for it but i like having it you know it's kind of a kind of just how it goes um but anyways we'll get on to this we will get out of here. Oh, it's not bad. There's not a lot of battery life left in this thing. That's one thing I've noticed. The Hero 8s don't hold their charge very long. And I forgot to grab the battery while I was at home. Hopefully this won't take too long. I'm going to get out here onto the uh, roadway here. All right, so we're going to stop here at the stop sign. I'll show you all the, uh, the gauge cluster and the uh, steering wheel here. I'm going to turn out onto the highway here. It's kind of a 0 to 60. So I've got it all the way floored. For a V6, it's pretty uh, pretty um, powerful. There was a sheriff around here and the speed limit's 55 uh, because Travis County does that sort of thing. So I'm going to stick it on to 60. Way I'm going five over. Show y'all the uh, show y'all the uh, drive here. Um, so y'all can, if y'all live here, y'all kind of can figure out where the f I live. Um, again, I do have firearms, so I'm not afraid of people coming and fucking around at my place. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, anyways, YouTube don't demonetize me for that. Um, again, I do like how smooth the ride is. The ride is very smooth. Um, I don't know if it's a combination of suspension and tires or if it's just the tires But it's very smooth and my police car. I feel the bumps. Like it's got a little bit more aggressive uh, 
suspension. This Sequoia is going the speed limit, so we're gonna get around them. Get my screen back. Um, we're kind of just kind of cruising here. No big deal. Yeah. Get back over into this lane because we're about to turn. Um, so this is this is about as close to a driver's angle as you can get without being illegal. I mean, I could put you up to my eye level and then y'all see a little bit better, but I'm pretty sure that that'd be illegal because it disrupts your view. Um, so we're going to turn up here onto uh, this little, little road here. And we're going to go drive some back roads because, you know, I don't like the city. I'm a little country boy, you know. I may not act it all the time, but I prefer the country over the city. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on these little country back roads. We're gonna take the back roads. Country back roads, take me home. Wait, no, it's country road, take me home. Okay, all right, I'm done. Anyways, guys, uh, so the handling of this car is very good. Like, I'm surprised at how good it really is. With it being a base model, I was not expecting it to be as good handling as a more high performance car like my police car. Yes, they're both chargers, but with a base model, you're looking more for comfort, not, not necessarily aggression and speed. Right now, we're going 55 on this back road, and I feel comfortable driving 55. I'm not... Not too, uh, not too worried about the uh, car losing control or anything. It's the steering. Yes, you can put it in more aggressive steering, but there's really not a not a need for it because they just the normal drive steering is fine for just about everything that I use it for. Maybe for track, it's probably not as good, but for what I use it for, just a daily driver, it's not bad. I don't race this one. I do kind of do uh, red light accelerations on my own, not racing anyone, not doing anything stupid. I just try to see how quickly it gets up to speed and everything. Uh, again, I'm going 50 miles an hour around this curve and I don't have it. Not worried about it. And it handles pretty well. Um, again, the steering wheel is wrapped in leather, or I think it's fake leather. I don't think it's real leather. And it's very, it's a really comfortable steering wheel. Um, I actually looked at upgrading my steering wheel and my charger to the newer steering wheel. I'm um, still kind of looking into that to see if it's something that can be done. Um, I'm not sure if it can be. If it can, I will be putting one into my charger after doing the review. Because I want to, when I do the reviews on things, I like to be bare bones and as genuine to stock as you can find and then I'll start doing my upgrades to it um, so we're gonna turn on to a little bit more windy of a road here hello minivan so we'll get a, get a little bit of speed in here um, I don't know what the speed limit is 45 so we can get away with 50 um, again I'm not driving fast. I don't. I don't typically drive fast. It's not my uh, not my mo anymore. When I first started driving, my God, I had so many damn speeding tickets. Um, even like I didn't think when you're young, you don't think about how much speeding tickets actor actually affect you. And then as you get older, you're like, oh crap. Well, um, uh, speeding tickets are serious. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like, I really can't open up out here because this truck is here, but maybe I can pull off in the side of the road and kind of just let him go and kind of talk. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit here. Let me just freaking get up here to this little cove we got here. Um, this guy's really not competent in his driving. As you can see. So this little curve right here is very sketchy um i've when i was younger driving fast and even 
even whenever I got my first charger, I almost lost control there just because you misjudge the turn and you think it's going to be a lot easier than it is. Um, but this car handles great. I, I have, as a daily driver, the charger is great. It's a great grocery getter. <laughs> um, you get a little bit of American muscle if you get the V8s. Um, honestly, I if I was buying this car, I would not buy um, a base model or a V6. I would buy the RT or um, is the SXT um, a V8? No, I think the SXT is still a V6, right? Um, again, I don't pay attention to anything that's not a V8, so I don't know what's what. And the SXT, obviously, I haven't paid attention to because I don't know if it's a V8 or not. <laughs> um, hmm, there's some uh, road work up here, I guess. So, when I, when I started renting this Charger from Enterprise, so... Shout out to Enterprise for hooking it up with this charger. I called around and was able to find it. Originally, they gave me a Malibu, and it was a four-cylinder. It was great on gas mileage, but I hated driving it. It just didn't have enough power, and so I upgraded to the V6, and it's definitely got enough power for me, at least uh, without my V8. <laughs> I still miss my V8, but hopefully I'll have it next week. Um... But shout out to Enterprise. Thank you for the rental. Um, I'm taking good care of it. Uh, it's a little dirty right now. Don't worry. I'll clean it up before I give it back. Um, again, I've had it for like two or th two and a half weeks. And so it is a little messy. And I think two and a half weeks is enough to be able to say, hey, this is a great family car. A great all around a great car. Like the V6 is great if you don't want a nice little sporty, roaring car. This is great for your run-of-the-mill daily driver. Um, but back to what I was saying, when I picked it up from the uh, from Enterprise, it was really clanky. The engine was really knocky, and so I went out of my way and put some. 90 93 in here and <clears throat> the knocking went away so again this is still a charger it's still very very needy whenever it comes to fuel and i found that all chargers like chevron gas i don't know what it is about i don't know if it's the tecron that they put in it or if it's just their strain <laughs> would it be strain of gas <laughs> um and i always put 93 in mine because mine's a v8 but i put some 93 in here and the knocking has kind of gone down to a minimum it hasn't been knocking a lot lately so take that for what it is again the washer fluids out so if there's glare on this glare i'm sorry um yeah i think we're I think we've touched on everything that we can touch on if you have any questions leave them down below but uh i'll leave y'all with the rest of the video of this just driving I'll give y'all a steering wheel view let me tap on it make sure everything's good here a little like half steering wheel half outside how about that oof that's a bright sun Hello, kind sir. Can we speed up a little bit? Here, let me put the visor down. <laughs> Yikes. Yoink. We're gonna turn up here onto the road and then we'll go back up onto the highway and then we'll go home. see past my hand sorry guys 